guys welcome back to my channel this is Betty you guys know that and can you guys believe this is what three four days in a row oh craziness well today I have you know with the move I am being forced to use stuff that I already have in my stash that is not packed up <laughs> so it's not just like using stuff in my stash it's using stuff in my stash not packed up so I have really had to create and think and do. And so, I mean, I think it's actually been good for me. And so this is one of the little things that I created. It's just like a little mini journal and I've got a cute little embellishment on it. One of my um, labels, I've got a little pocket in here. I got a little tag. This is a little sticker tag out of some of my Timu stuff. It's just got a couple of little pages in it. And another pocket back here with a couple more tags. Very simple. This would be good to use like in flat mail, friend mail. This could be like a tuck inside of a journal, anything like that. So these are the papers that I have that I can use that I have found. So that's what I've done was just used um, some of this. It was actually like one of these. So let's do the same type thing. Let's just see. Um, I don't think I want to go real bright. I think I want to do, let's do this one. I think that one would will be cute. So these were apparently some cutoffs from another project that I had done. I really don't know. Um, I just, they were here. So what I've done for this one, and we will do the same thing on here. We are just going to cut this. Let's see what this measures. One, two, three, three and a half. So let's cut this at seven. And I hope the lighting is not too bad. Again, I don't have my studio lights up yet. So I am just having to use the natural light and it is very cloudy today. So I apologize. And you can score this if you want to, but I'm just going to fold it in half. That's all I'm going to do. So a daisy, my goat update. I did take her to a vet yesterday, and I'm just going to round these corners. Um, I found a vet in Georgia that would see her, and I took her up there, and they think it may be botulism, and um, he done some x-rays to make sure she didn't have a broken bone or something that we were just missing. And she didn't um, so they gave her a big dose of antibiotics and he said just continue supportive care because all of those toxins have to get out of her body <clears throat> so um, we she got the antibiotic shot and then on the way home her appetite went crazy um, I had laid her down in the floor of the van because we were in my daughter's van and she has the um, the rubber mats all the way through her vehicle. And she was wrapped up in towels and laying in it. But that goat was scooting everywhere, trying to get everything. And then when we stopped at Taco Bell, she was trying to get into the tacos. So I ran in um, the Walmart up there in Georgia. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing like I did here. I want to put a little pocket. 
so I know this is three and a half, so I'm going to cut this about three and a quarter. So I run up there to, um, in the little um, Walmart that they had, and they had a bag of, um, I think it was called Timothy Hay. It's like for um, guinea pigs or something. I paid $20 for that little bag of hay. And <clears throat> I got her a bowl with some water and that kind of stuff. And uh, took it out there to her. And that goat ate the entire way home. Like, literally. Okay, so let's make sure this is going to fit. And it will. So I'm going to round this corner, this corner, and this corner. Because I don't want... I really need something that's contrasting, though. Let's see what we have. I mean, I don't have to have anything that's contrasting. I think it would just look good if I did. Let's do that. So let's wait on that one. So, yeah, it's just been, um, and she still cannot walk, which he said it can take, um, I'm going to cut this at three and a quarter again. He said it can take, you know, a while for all the toxins to get out. So we're just hoping and praying that this will take care of it and she will be able to walk again. Because she is such a sweet baby. All right, so we've got that. So I'm going to put that one there and this one here. So I want to round this corner here so that it will match up to the little booklet it won't what on earth great goodness guys look at that uh -uh -uh. leave it to me to have problems like that and so on this one i want around the three but leave that inside bottom one i'm gonna leave it straight Okay, and the other thing I want to do is I do want to punch a little thumb pull in. And I think I want to ink, even though it's, you really won't be able to see it too much on this, but you just won't be able to see that white edge anymore. And so... I do, I have actually been working and do have a couple more videos to do, and I'm going to try and film as many today as I possibly can, because we don't have the workers here today. Um, it's been pretty rainy, and I'm only going to glue on two sides. Um, it's been pretty rainy, and so they're at a point where um, they can't do anything while it's raining, so... And I just glued it on the two sides, and that's Barely Art glue that's in that little bottle. I did find a little thing of Barely Art glue. I didn't have the, the actual little bottle that it come in, but I found those. And so that's what I used. So again, just on these two sides right here. I'm just going to glue that down. And this just makes a cute little folio. Very cute. Okay, and I am going to put some paper in it like I did the other one. So I'm going to set this over here, let it dry for a minute. And I think just maybe two or three sheets is plenty because we don't want it real thick. This will be good. All right, so how high is this? We have, I have a ruler. Where's I? Look at here, guys. I have an actual ruler. Can y'all believe that? Okay, so it looks like it's right at five. So I think we can go four and three quarters by three and a quarter. So three and a quarter, three and a quarter, six and a half. Okay, so four and three quarters, and this is just a piece of a vellum by six and a half. 
Now let's see what we can do with that. Okay. So let's see. Four and a quarter high by six and a half. Let's just go ahead and cut this at six and a half. And then let's do four and three quarters this way. So we'll get that big spot up there. All right, so we need four and three quarters here. About six and a half. Okay, do we want one more piece? Let's see what I have. That may be all I can do. You know what? Let's just stick this in there too. It's not as tall as those, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just going to fold these in half. And then we will put them in the little book. And I do have my long arm stapler that I will probably use. If you don't have one of those, you can, um, you can just kind of sew them in. Lord, I did not fold that straight. You can either sew them in. You can just do two little um, holes and just put some string through it. Um, you don't have to have the pamphlet stitch or the um, long arm stapler. You don't have to do a pamphlet stitch. You can literally just, you know, you can even put elastic in the little book and do it just like that. Let's see how this turns out. Stick it in there like that. Yep, let me grab my stapler. It is. All right, so let's see. Let's get this in there the way that we want it. Just put this like in the middle-ish kind of. And get it in the book like that. I'm just trying to kind of center it up a little bit. And these are a couple clips I have. These I got from Timu, but I bought, had some of these that I use um, that I'd actually got on Amazon. They're just a lot cheaper on Timu. Sorry for the arm, guys. I thought I had one more. I do. All right, so I'm just going to take my stapler and I'm probably going to bump y'all. Let's see if I can figure out where. I need it to be right along in there. I'm just gonna do what I think is close to the middle. And I was not in the middle, but it's okay. We don't care. We're good. It was close enough. We're going to say it was close enough. All right, so now we've got our little booklet together. And now it's just literally putting something on the cover. Decorating. So let's just see um, what do I have. Um, okay, so I know that I have these. And we don't have to do a lot because we've got... Um, all of this but I think I do want to put maybe a label there and let's see let's put where are my scissors oh right here let's see let's put let's just go ahead and go right here and go with peaceful since we're already getting that close to being cut reason not to. I'm just going to cut this out. And these are some labels that are in my Etsy. And I'm going to ink it up a little bit. And I think I do want to put um let me just look. I'm thinking book page, but let's just see. Yeah, let's do book page. 
why not? We already got some right here. And if I put that there and that there, I think that'll look cute. I'm just going to ink it up a little bit. And you see, I've just torn it all wonky bad. But it don't matter. It's just, you know. So, guys, this is just what you do. You just use whatever you can find and invent different ways to use the same stuff over and over. Because <laughs> that's what I've had to do. But, um... I will be very thankful when I get my regular stuff back and unpacked so that I know where stuff is at. I can assure you I will be very thankful. Look how cute. I mean, just like that. And I, I really don't even have to do anything else. It's just, it's, it's done. Um, but how cute would this be to like stick into um, a journal or... Um, you know something that you're sending out and these again these are just some tags that um i think these are stickers i got these from timu um so i'm just sticking one or two down in here i think it just kind of looks cute um i could put some tickets i've got the ticket strips let me grab those because I think maybe a little strip of tickets would look cute stuck down in there. Let me grab them real quick. Oh, excuse the chair sliding. Um, let me see. I got some. What do I have? We'll use these here. We'll just stick a couple of little tickets down in there. And I think that'll be cute. These weren't the ones I was thinking I was grabbing, but these will work. So let's just stick one of these down in the, here. And then let's put one of these in it. Back here at the back, like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cute, guys. What do you think? I mean, this was a short, quick video, but, you know, um, they don't have to be long, but you can, you know, see that you can always figure something to do. And this was just with some scraps that I had that I don't even know what the scraps were from. Um, I'm sure it was some project that I'd done or was planning on doing. Who knows? Um, but it was just a very quick and easy little project to do, nothing to it. And it's a cute little journal that you can, um, like I said, you can either put this in another journal, um, to have some extra writing space in it, or you can send this like as happy mail or friend mail, uh, especially if you don't do something like that on it. So it's not really bulked up. Um, it does go, it goes pretty flat so tell me what you guys think let me know if this is something that you enjoyed um, if you watch my video all the way to here leave me a let me see what kind of emoji leave me a sunshine I need sunshine today because it is so cloudy yes leave me a sunshine emoji I would love it all right guys thank you so much for watching and I will probably see you all tomorrow bye guys